Good evening. Welcome to a special night as we kick off a busy, a fun, exciting weekend here at St. Paul. It begins with the Concordia, Nebraska out of Seward, uh, the a cappella choir. Now, two quick announcements before we get into uh, some introductions for tonight. If you are a host family for some of these choir members, after the concert, you will meet your students in the cafeteria. So we invite you to make your way there after the concert. And then they will need to be back by about 8.45 in the morning so that they can have a nine o'clock departure. Now, as a community, we are blessed to have them here tonight. They are traveling far and wide. Uh, the choir has been, well, you can read some of the history uh, in the program, uh, but the choir is, uh, was in Iowa yesterday. Actually, this morning they left uh, Iowa. They're with us tonight. They're traveling to New York tomorrow and then uh, down the East Coast a bit before they swing back through Ohio later in the week. Uh, so again, we're blessed that in the midst of all of their travels, uh, they chose to come here. And there are many alumni from Concordia, Nebraska, that are part of the staff here. Quite a few that sang in the choirs at Concordia, Nebraska. And then quite a few that sang in this particular choir years ago. And so we celebrate the music ministry both of St. Paul, uh, but also of the church at large. And so we're excited uh, to hear the many pieces that they have for us tonight. And so as we prepare to welcome them up, uh, let us begin in prayer. Heavenly Father as you have blessed us with the gift of music, in ways of hearing your scripture sung for us, in ways of praising you through song, we pray that tonight we may see a greater glimpse of who you are as you reveal yourself through word, through song, as we hear the choir that is before us. And so bless our time together this evening that in all things we may continue to celebrate the many gifts that you have blessed us with, including the gift of music. For these and all things, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
Well, good evening, and thank you for choosing to do this on your Friday night. We are very, very grateful that you have come to uh, watch this choir perform, to support us on this tour, um, and to um, give glory to God through the singing of music that hopefully is edifying and instructive. It is really wonderful to see so many friends here, uh, friends that some of us have known for many years, especially those of us that have actual family here. Uh, if you are a family member of one of the a cappella choir members, would you please raise your hand? Look around. And if you are a former member of the university a cappella choir, would you raise your hand? And if you are an alum of Concordia University, Nebraska, would you please raise your hand? Okay, now we do care about the rest of you too, very, very much. But these people are very special to us as well. You'll notice these uh, poor, pathetic looking students passing baskets uh, along the, the pews here. Um, this is a, a very urgent plea because we only had enough money to get to this place <laughs> on this tour. We only could get to Ohio. So um, your gifts will make it possible for us to get all the way, no, not really, we budgeted fine for this. But your support is, is greatly appreciated. I bring you greetings from Concordia University, Nebraska, from our president, Bernard Bull, from our faculty and staff and our 1,300 undergraduate students and many more graduate students. Concordia University in Nebraska is the same today as it was in 1894 when it was founded. It's a little different, but it exists for the exact same reason, and that is to point young people to Christ, to teach them in the Christian faith, to give them a consistent message from course to course, from athletics to music, to drama, to any other activity the students are in, that they would see Jesus Christ at the center of everything, and that our instruction would be something that the students can rely on. They're not going to hear a lot of different viewpoints. They'll hear them, but it's, they're going to hear the clear gospel message of Jesus Christ. About 90% of our full-time faculty are Missouri Synod Lutherans. The rest are all Christians, including all the adjunct professors. And so um, when Bernard Bull took over about three years ago, he carried on the tradition of every president that went on before him and said, we are going to lean into our Lutheran Christian identity. And that is something you can count on at Concordia, Nebraska. The uh, students you see before you, as you can see they, in the program, they come from all over the United States and they represent quite a diverse uh, array of music majors. I think, I haven't counted this year, but generally about half of the a cappella choir are music majors. And the other half are from all other academic disciplines. Some of these students receive music scholarships, but many of them don't. And they are just in this choir for the love of singing and the earnest desire to make music at a high level, not only because music is important, but ultimately because the creator of music is important. And the message that is held in this music is vital for a world that desperately needs to hear about the Savior Jesus. I would ask for a couple of things from you. Um, First of all, thank you for your gifts and the offering. That one's out of the way. The second one is that you would continue to pray for Concordia, Nebraska specifically, and of course, all of our Concordias. The third thing is that if you know of someone who is close to college age, or maybe even not that close yet, but is going to be looking for a college in a few years, that you would encourage them to come visit our campus. Nebraska isn't that far away from Ohio. It's just, it's, it's like 40 minutes in a Concorde jet. <laughs> so uh, it, we, are not, we are not out of the loop here. This is, we are a school for Ohioans as much as we are for Nebraskans. Our kids come from all over the country. So if you could encourage students to just come visit, 
meet with professors, sit in on an a cappella rehearsal, uh, talk with the coaches. Many times when students come to our campus, they look around and they, they feel a sense of community, they feel a sense of caring, and they um, put Concordia very high on their list of choices. So if you would do those two things, pray for us and encourage others to consider Concordia, we would deeply appreciate it. We have some more music for you, and in the next piece that we're going to perform, it actually is audience participation. And you'll notice on page four of your program, the text for Built on the Rock, the Church Doth Stand is printed for you in bold. And we would ask that you would sing those bold lyrics in a bold way, that you would sing with gusto, and that if possible, we could make the rafters shake a little bit. Um, the arrangement that you're hearing tonight is brand new. It is being premiered on this tour. So you are some of the first people ever to hear it, to perform it, to sing it with us. Uh, so give us just a few moments to get the band warmed up, and we will, um, as a congregation of believers, sing to our great God.
Ooh, I'm glad you didn't see what was going on behind you. Getting from that balcony to up front in one hymn verse. Yeah, getting a little old for this. It's a young man's game here. The uh, next piece on the program is another premiere. John Cush is music professor at Concordia, and his chief responsibility is composition instruction. Many of the students that stand before you are taking courses from John Cush and learning how to create their own music. Back in, uh, I would say, the late fall, uh, Dr. Grimpo approached John Cush and said, would you consider um, composing a piece of piano music that she could perform on this tour. And she gave him the title, right? You asked him for Built on the Rock. And he has produced a, a very beautiful virtuosic uh, piano piece that you're about to hear Dr. Grimpo play. Soon after that, I was looking for a companion piece. And I wanted to have a concertato that the congregation could sing with choir based on the same hymn. And there are several out there that are very fine, but it didn't just quite strike it with me. And I thought, you know, maybe it's time for something new. And so John wrote the piece that you just help us, helped us sing. And we feel very honored to get a chance to premiere this music on this tour. Dr. Grimpo is professor of piano. She also teaches oral skills, music appreciation, and has been at Concordia for 15 years, 16 years, give or take. Um, and we have been so blessed as the a cappella choir and the chamber choir to have Dr. Grimpo as uh, our pianist for these groups. And you can already tell that uh, having her perform with us is a good thing. So without further ado, I would like to invite you to listen to the premiere of Built on the Rock, The Church Let's Stand.
Thank you.
concert. We have one more piece for you. The piece originally, I believe, was written more as just sort of a generic folk song and sort of a welcoming kind of message, but we narrow it down a little more specifically. When we talk about coming up to the house, we're talking about the house of the Lord. And so we are going to end our concert now with come on up to the house. Well, the moon is broken and the sky is cracked. Come on up to the house. The only things that you can see.
Elijah, rock, he touched a 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 rock, he